What's up, Greg? I hope you're having a great day, and welcome back to another episode of Talking About Taki. Today we're going to be talking about Takis. It's sort of a funny joke based on this pop popular snack food, Taki. We're going to be talking about we're gonna be talking about Takis. It's actually kind of funny. Guys, I don't know if you've been seeing the few new ads that Takis have been running on YouTube with some of the internet's most popular influencers, but um, they're hilarious. I think that they're really funny, so I just wanted to talk about them because every time they pop up on YouTube for me, I'm just like, oh my God, these are amazing. I love them. They're so funny. And also low key, they kind of make me want to dig, dig my hands into a big old bag of Takis and crunch them up. Here's the first one that I saw. Takis are seriously intense. Okay, I don't know about you, but this is definitely me when I eat Takis, okay? I mean, Takis are intense. I will give them that. I mean, like, these things are, like, the most flavorful things you'll ever eat, I feel like. Or at least... To me, they are. But Jesus, dude, it makes them look so intense. I also like that they tied in her like career as a TikTok dancer. It's almost like they made it, they almost made it seem like Takis are like pre-workout, but for dancers. Cause she's like getting ready to dance and the only thing she needs is just one little Taki and she's freaking, she's ready to go. Yeah, this is pretty much how us professional dancers warm up for every recital. We just, you know, one little Taki and then we're ready to just fucking, what is the dance that she does? Oh, I love that. Just kind of, mmm. Fucking go, dude. One Taki equals a hundred million likes on TikTok. Oh, oh. <coughs> I breathed in the Taki does. Oh, oh. So all you kids out there, if you're wondering how to become a successful TikTok dancer, that's how you do it. Just one Taki per TikTok. One TikToki should equal about 20 million likes, I think. I know me saying this is probably gonna make it seem like this entire video is an ad for Takis. It's not. This video is an ad for ExpressVPN, actually. But Takis are like my favorite food ever in the whole world. I eat Takis so much, but I think that they're also probably the, like one of the least healthy foods in the entire world. Like, look at, look at the color of this snack food. There's no way this is just like the natural color of this seasoning. I don't know what they have to do to make them this color. If this, uh, like, uh, did they sell each individual Taki soul to Satan and there's just like a little bit of the devil in every Taki? I don't know, dude, but they, they fly out. Also, never get the blue flavor of Takis. They're not as good as the Fuego flavor, and they also, I don't wanna be too graphic, but um, you will remember that you ate blue Takis. That's all I'll say on that. So they actually have two ads with Charlie. This is the second one. That was intense. Takis are seriously intense. Takis, face, the intensity. I love the way she emphasizes seriously when she says Takis are seriously intense. Takis are seriously intense. It makes it sound like she's not agreeing with the other girl, but she's like arguing with her. Whoa, Takis are intense, dude. <laughs> Takis are seriously intense. Yeah, that's, um, that's what I said. No, you said intense. These are seriously intense. Okay. I got a question for you. Um, you know what? I actually just remembered I have to go. No, no. I got a question for you. Okay, what? Are Takis a joke to you? I mean, like literally, are they a joke to you? Are Takis just a funny little goof to your fucked up little head? I mean, no, I guess I wouldn't say they're a joke to me. What does that even mean? Then take them seriously. Okay, dude, Jesus. They're seriously intense. Exactly. <laughs> Wow, those are, uh, those are actually some pretty cool moves, man. Help. What? Help, dude, I'm on fire. This is painfully intense. Seriously intense sounds dangerously close to Flamin' Hot Cheetos catchphrase. Dangerously cheesy. It's like they wanted to use that exact slogan, but they were like, well, but Takis aren't cheesy. But they are intense, so maybe dangerously intense. But dangerously intense makes it sound like it's like, open heart surgery or something. Like it's like actually life changing. Ma'am, your husband only has a 50% chance of surviving this surgery. It's dangerously intense. The husband comes out of the surgery like, that was fucking intense. I can't stop. It's also funny how Charlie D'Amelio just like randomly shows up in this girl's living room. Like that's something that Takis do. But then not only does she show up out of nowhere, but then she steals one of the girl's Takis and eats it. 
and then does the same dance as her. In a way, it's kind of like a metaphor for how, you know, like large creators on TikTok will steal dances from smaller creators and not give them any credit for it, often leaving the smaller creator with no credit and the bigger TikToker blows up. Literally in this case. I don't know, I think I'm onto something here. This is some interesting social commentary talkies. Really invested in the creator space, huh? Sort of exposing some of the new mains of the world. I, I dig it, thank you Taki. Thank you for shedding light on this situation. All right, this next one's for all my gamers out there. Gaming is intense, but talkies are seriously intense. <laughs> Wow, Ninja. Interesting. Takis are seriously intense and gaming's not? But gaming's not serious to you? You wouldn't say it's just a game, would you? Kind of a weak mindset, to be honest. I, uh, kind of thought you were a real gamer. So, you know, Charlie's a dancer and Ninja is a gamer. In Charlie's video, she eats the Taki and then the Taki sort of enhances her dance moves, you know? You know, when she starts dancing, she's on fire, literally. But Ninja takes a bite out of the Taki and then just sits there and like basks in it, just basking in the intensity, the serious intensity of it all. Look at him, dude. He's like transcended reality. He's on a different plane of existence. Honestly though, if I were to eat an entire bag of Takis, that is how I would feel. I would, sometimes I eat like an entire big sized bag of Takis and I'm just like drenched in sweat by the end of it and like hyperventilating. And Laura will come into the room and be like, are you okay? And then she'll see the bag of Takis and be like, oh, okay. Come to think of it actually, this is kind of a perfect visualization of what's going on in my stomach after I eat a whole bag of Takis actually. There's just fucking fire tornadoes and Takis swirling around. And I'm just sitting there like, oh fuck. My next trip to the bathroom is gonna be seriously intense. Was intense. Takis are seriously intense. Takis, face the intensity. This dude's got four bags of Takis on his table and also a plate of Takis and then also the whole table is covered in Takis. Maybe that's enough Takis. One bag wasn't intense enough for you. You know what, one bag of Takis is just intense. Four bags is dangerously intense. I feel like eating that many Takis would really like corrode your insides. I feel like this poor kid just wanted to relax. Maybe he was having some friends over and they didn't show up and that's why he's got so many Takis. I feel kind of bad. He's just playing a game by himself and he wants to enjoy his favorite snack food. And then like the world, one of the best gamers in the world shows up to, to eat his Takis and absolutely cream him in Fortnite. Ninja just shows up and he's like, thanks for the Takis. Takis kid, you ready to get your ass beat by a professional gamer? Takis are disrespectfully intense, come to think of it. How about that? Takis don't give a fuck about your relaxing Saturday playing video games. Now you gotta hold your own against one of the best gamers in the world. I feel like there's so much meme potential with these two, especially since they ignite so quickly. It's like, you know, you could edit it with like a house blowing up. <laughs> or... I don't know, that's, that's actually the only thing that I could think of, but there's gotta be other stuff. There's gotta be other things you can do. So when you're dancing and you eat a Taki, Charlie D'Amelio shows up to steal your dance moves. When you're gaming and you eat a Taki, Ninja shows up to play an ambiguous game console with you. But Takis, if you're watching this, I would like to see this in more scenarios. I think it's pretty interesting, you know? You're doing one thing, you eat a Taki, and then a professional in that field shows up. I think it'd be pretty interesting. Can we get some more scenarios like that maybe? Man, this 19th century play is so good, I've hardly touched my Takis. Wait. Getting murdered at a play is intense. What are you doing? But Takis oh, are no. seriously oh, intense. Fuck. Takis. All right, gang, well, that's it for the commentary side of things. Why don't we go ahead and talk about our sponsor, ExpressVPN. Let's do a thought experiment, shall we? Let's say I'm a little piece of your data. I could be the password to your bank account or an important conversation with a loved one or a picture of your feet. If you're not using ExpressVPN right now, then quite honestly, I don't feel too safe, dude. I might not be encrypted. I'm just kind of walking down the street. A hacker could come along and just like look right at me. I feel naked, I feel exposed. Think of ExpressVPN like a little car with tinted windows that you put your juicy little piece of data in and then he gets to drive to his destination in style. That's because ExpressVPN sends all of your data through a secure tunnel, it encrypts it, so the hackers can't make heads or tails of it. ExpressVPN has a bunch of great uses, one of them is unblocking content that's not available in your area. For example, if you're a fan of The Office, I'm sure you know that there's a US office and there's also a UK office, but did you know that there are actually nine countries 
with their own version of The Office. You might not have, because I didn't, but installing ExpressVPN gives you access to a bunch more shows that you didn't have originally, because you can just set your server location to the location where that content would be available, and now all of a sudden, it's available. I use ExpressVPN every day. If I go to a coffee shop to get work done, or if I go to the airport and I'm on a public Wi-Fi, I always make sure to have ExpressVPN on just for that extra little bit of safety. They're a great service. Honestly, the speeds are super fast. I've never noticed a slowdown in my internet speeds while using it. They're consistently ranked the number one VPN by a bunch of different sources. So if you want to make your internet browsing as secure as possible, then find out how you can get three months for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Danny Gonzalez. Or you can just click the link in the description. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out ExpressVPN. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Greg is kind of, uh... Greg is kind of the Pogist army on YouTube, if you can believe that. The most epic gamer Pog army. And if you want to join, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on my notifications. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! This video is over now. Go find something else to watch or just watch this video. I know we had a lot of fun, yeah. a lot of fun. Woo. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now, yeah. over now. So why are you still watching this?